Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Virgo December 20, 2022. People in your life, particularly partners, or a significant other, can seem a little controlling today, however, with a Mars-Pluto transit in play. Power plays are rooted in fear of losing, whether it's about losing a position, label, or person such as the nature of a difficult Pluto. You might become frustrated with an opinion not catching on or understood, or you might feel restless, ready to escape but nevertheless emotionally stuck. Aim to mentally detach yourself from tensions as much as possible. Feel the embrace of the universe. Our sweet moon, lovely Luna, is dancing through your solar first house of identity and zodiac sign today. This will put you deeply in touch with your emotions and allow you to dig deep into your intuition. You'll also likely be feeling quite domestic and craving peace and quiet with your family or one and only. Be sensual, affectionate, tender, and harmonious all traits that you so easily often exhibit. If you'd like to have any important emotional discussions with your one and only, they will likely feel your heart and spirit radiate at this time. Go for it. Step into your professional power. Do not be afraid to express yourself at work all week long since the moon in your sign is forming a harmonious trine to Saturn in Aquarius. The intellectual yet unique trine encourages you to show off your authenticity in your work life. It might be a great time to experiment with your look, such as wearing a personalized accessory or donning a different style. The trine could also encourage you to stand by your creativity without fear of being judged or misunderstood. Be confident in your professionalism. The moon returns for its last visit to your income sector for the year today and with perfect timing. The moon returns just as Jupiter moves into his final two days in your work sector, putting them in harmony but also giving the money and professional gods a chance to work together in a combined push on the income and job fronts. You want what you want, and you want it now. Today you may experience that quality of yours commonly known as impatience. The urgency with which you experience certain feelings may overwhelm those around you this week. Try to focus on understanding what you want and putting it into words that let people know how they can help you most. That overpowering celestial energy can be mitigated by language. Another tip, work out your frustration at the gym, if possible, or on the bike path. You can expect that you might feel energetic about getting unfinished tasks completed and put away. This can serve you very well if you tend to procrastinate about finishing things, as the added energy will help you. 7. This not only applies to work-related matters, but also personal issues. You will find it far easier to bring closure to such things as conflict in a relationship. Make the most of this to clear the slate for another new cycle. There is a lot going on during the moon's final hours in Scorpio, more so than would normally be the case. At the same time that the moon forms a friendly aspect to Saturn in a playful and creative part of your chart, it also clashes with planets on the relationship front, something that happens with each monthly visit. However, as well as flushing out any balance issues between your personal and relationship needs just two days before Jupiter's return to your relationship sector, this will ensure you are emotionally and intuitively engaged as Ceres returns to begin a deep dive into your own needs and priorities. It is just as the moon is spending its final hours in Scorpio clashed with planets in your relationship sector, that the dwarf planet Ceres returns to your sign. Two days before Jupiter's return to your relationship sector, Ceres returns for her first deep dive into your own needs and priorities in four years. This will help you maintain the right balance between your personal and relationship needs. Our eyes in the sky. A trine between the moon and Saturn this morning can help us when it comes to matters of the heart. If you're single, the energy helps you appreciate your independence, while those in relationships can find a new level of support in their partnership. This aspect can help you balance a romantic relationship with your autonomy if you're ready to move away from codependent or unhealthy behaviors as a couple. If you're ready to leave an unsatisfactory relationship, use this energy to make a clean break and move on with your life. 
Your energy level should stay fairly elevated throughout the day, so use this time to take care of business and get things done. Most people you communicate with professionally will be on an emotional edge today so be careful. Find solid ground and stick to it. Your productivity depends highly on your ability to remain emotionally stable. It will be harder than you think but don't give up. Your mind will feel sharp this afternoon as the moon aspects Pluto. You should have a clearer understanding of how you need to revolutionize and change your life moving forward, giving you the opportunity to implement change. Pluto lends some support to this mission, offering the passion and drive to take action toward personal evolution. Wild Bob-related accusations will spread around, and many of them will not be so nice. Approach the source of these rumors instead of continuing the negative downward cycle of badmouthing others without dealing with the heart of the matter. You have almost always conformed to every standard and wanted to fit in. Now you have set your sights on a wild one and you feel chills running up and down your spine. Due to your differing perspectives on life this is not a match made in heaven, but if you want to shrug off your conventional side for a while and take a walk on the wild side then by all means stop waiting and just do it. As we head into evening, the Scorpio moon makes it the perfect time to have discussions and connect with people on an intellectual level. If you find that your mind is exceptionally active, try to do some journaling before bed so you can fall asleep more easily. In the pre-dawn hours, the moon trines Saturn in Aquarius, allowing us to trust our instincts when undertaking negotiations. Want to reach an agreement? Try an untested approach to achieve compromise. If you aren't doing your job with passion, then why do it? Today is one of those days in which you should feel inspired to work harder than usual. If you aren't, then maybe you should consider finding new work. Your happiness depends on it. While the moon is in Scorpio, we can fail to advocate for ourselves, because we believe others have a greater stake in the matter than we do. Yet, as the moon and Saturn trine, we are better able to stick to our guns. A cooperative effort isn't truly cooperative if we're doing all the sacrificing. Use your imagination. The more creative you are, the better. Your ideas may seem rather unorthodox, but this doesn't mean that they hold no merit. Your innovative approach to an old problem is likely to propel you miles ahead of the competition. Mid-afternoon, the moon sextals the Sagittarius sun, a harmonious influence. At this time, we are especially concerned with taking the right action. We care about justice and fairness, and if a situation does not allow us to act with integrity, we want no part of it. Even if our mettle is tested, doing the moral thing is the only option now. Others' acknowledgement of our ethics and our positive attitude will cause them to gravitate toward our social circle. 